Hey my beautiful Virgos, welcome into the Gifted Hermit. If you're new to the channel, very warm welcome. My name is Leela, I reside in London, UK and I'm also a Virgo. I want to pick up on the energy around love, like what's the current energy. So we're checking in. Please remember to smash the thumbs button if you find it resonates with you in any way. It feels good Virgo, I must say. It feels good in a sense of things are stabilising, okay? And it may be that you're single, it may be that you recently even maybe not recently depends how long it takes for you to get over somebody or a particular situation that things have come to an end but or coming to an end and i feel like you guys are accepting that okay we've got the full moon in cancer on friday and that's definitely kind of like a check-in with our emotions and i feel like a lot of you guys are feeling that energy already so we have the four of pentacles to start off this love reading some of you guys could be or were dealing with an earth sign capricorn virgo taurus doesn't have to be you could have been dealing with scorpio well the energy here suggests that a lot of you guys are grounding yourself you are definitely a generous soul you've got a lot of love to give you've got a lot of time for people and it may be actually that on friday or over the next few days people come to you just for advice or to be that listening ear so just remember to continue to support people as you do but I love it because I see you guys are grounding yourself here. You could be saving for something, but you're definitely stabilizing your energy. It feels very good. Page of Pentacles, again, kind of like, it kind of shows to me that you guys are ready for a new beginning now. You're ready for new opportunities. Page of Pentacles also talks about good news. So I feel like there's going to be some good news for some of you guys here. Okay. And it could be like a financial opportunity with the Page of Pentacles a new job, definitely a new connection for some of you guys, a new career path, um, developing your skills, training, learning. This is about making your plans a reality. And I feel like a lot of you guys have a lot of plans for 2023. Okay. It feels good. It feels like you guys are getting your ambition, your ambitious energy back. And you know what? You've always been an ambitious type of person, Virgo. I think there was one person that said that they weren't ambitious on my page, but I feel like the majority of you guys are definitely getting back into that energy. Now, the death card, again, it, it's like you're going through this cycle of transformation. There's a lot of change here. A lot of changes have been implemented. You're trying to be the change. This is about an ending here again for some of you guys, all right? Could be, well, it is a love reading. So for the majority of you guys, it's... um. It's a love connection that is perhaps coming to an end or it has come to an end. And I feel like you guys are okay with it now. I feel like you guys are definitely coming into this acceptance type of energy. This is like a rebirth, like a new Virgo, a new beginning, a newfound awareness. Okay. And some of you may be going through the initiation process. But for some of you guys, it's already happened. Okay. And... It's a massive transformation coming your way. This is about you guys allowing yourself to let go of the past in order to add some energy, which you're doing, I th I feel, already for a new beginning. And if you're not doing that, then this is why you are here listening to this reading, because maybe it's the advice that you need to hear. So tell me more about the current energy with regards to love for Virgo. So we have the Five of Swords, and I feel like... um. You know, at times the mind wanders and we overthink and there's a bit of anxiety there. There was conflicts and I feel like this conflict was in this connection. And I feel like a lot of you guys have perhaps battled with your mind and you're thinking around this. Tell me more. Yeah, but then we get this beautiful energy with the strength card here. You've had to be strong, Virgo. You've had to push on through. You've had to be courageous. I feel like a lot of you guys are patiently waiting, patiently getting on with it. This is acting in a definitely a graceful way. Like, I don't feel like there's any bitterness here. Like, maybe once upon a time or, like I said, with the Five of Swords energy, right? Your mind wanders and you may feel a bit bitter or animosity towards a particular situation but the strength card definitely indicates that you guys have been very loving very kind to others maybe a particular person and i just feel like you, you, your soul is cleansing right the strength card is definitely 
it's Leo energy. Some of you guys may have been dealing with a, a Leo. The month of August may have some sort of significance there. But this is your purity. This is the purity that you have. This is about you leading with your heart. Being calm now. Having this quiet strength. Like bringing compassion to the situation. You're being brave. And I feel like a lot of you guys are going to be like glowing up, you know, like there's courageous light here. There's confidence coming back in. Mm hmm. And you're not doing it with aggression. You're just doing it in a very pure, calm way, very compassionate way. Like it's a reminder that you are powerful and you are pure. Like a lot of you guys, you got a pure heart, Virgo. You got a pure heart. Like the gifted knows that. <sighs> so for some of you guys, this ending was quite painful. Maybe it was hard for you to let go. But once you once you get to that ten of swords energy, or you know, once you felt that ten of swords energy, it's always an opportunity to, like, especially when you hit rock bottom. Like the only way is up. You may have felt like this ending again was painful. You may have felt like you were stabbed in the back. This is your opportunity now to find deep healing. This is your opportunity to find hope and build resilience. Okay. It's like the, the delusions are being lifted now. Okay. A broken dream, a broken relationship, of course, because it's a love reading. We have the two of pentacles as well. So this is a lot of Virgos just wanting peace. You know, you just want in peace, my darling. And I get that. Like, I'm totally with you. Remember, I'm a Virgo too. You're trying to find balance in all aspects of your life. Um, you know, you may have a lot of obligations. But what you're doing is seeking harmony. You're seeking equilibrium. So that you can be the best that you can be, you know. And again, if this reading, I mean, if you're resisting this reading, then this is probably advice that you need to hear, okay. If this is not the energy that you're currently in. What else is currently the love energy? What's the current energy around love for Virgo? Two of Cups. So again, an ending here with somebody. The Two of Cups also talks about choices. Okay, so maybe you had to make a choice or you need to make a choice. The Two of Cups talks about, I feel like two peas in a pod. There may have been a lot of similarities between you and your person, like kindred spirits, a soulmate connection. But I pick up on a lot of cooperation here. I pick up on a lot of love in the conscious mind. Again, I feel like you, if you're doing well, you really do push that onto other people. There is a partnership here. Now, it could be a new partnership. It could be the energy that we're talking about with this past connection. Mm -hmm. But there's some sort of romance here. And it's whispering to you. There's some sort of attraction here. Sometimes it signifies the beginning of a new friendship or a business partnership, okay? For others, it can be a romantic union between two people. If you are single, look for the arrival of something very passionate, perhaps a very devoted lover. Mm-hmm. Something magic here, something bubbling up. And I feel like it could be just around the corner. Perhaps you don't even, you won't even see it coming. Yeah. I don't want to hear that you don't want love because love is all around us. We are love. And I feel like love is coming in for somebody here, quite frankly. Wow. So we have the Ten of Pentacles. So I wanted to clarify the Two of Cups. Ten of Pentacles the world card capricorn energy okay and um yeah the ace of swords i see a successful connection coming in here for some of you guys 
I really do. And it feels long term. It feels loyal. It could be that you meet somebody that's financially stable. Um, somebody that wants a committed relationship here. You might meet somebody that's abroad or somebody that is living um, far away from you. Okay. I feel like this is really round the corner for some of you guys here. But I see definitely a successful companionship. And I feel like a lot of you guys don't even see this coming. There's going to be some sort of clarity coming in for you guys. Like, I feel like everything is going to make sense with regards to love. Sooner rather than later. Mm -hmm. But um, Virgo, I think you should be commended for doing your best to get out of your head doing your best to let go, doing your best to heal, doing your best to act in a graceful way and still very compassionate for others. Okay, definitely grounding yourself. So keep up the good work, stay focused, stay positive. And all of that jazz, you can book me for a personal, follow me on the socials and catch me for live tarot. But for now, my stunning Virgos, as I always say, be kind to others, but most importantly, be kind to you and the gifted will catch you on the rebound. You take care.